This is the Rode Streamer X, a powerful little device that acts both as an audio interface where you can plug in an XLR microphone or a headset with a mic attached, and you can plug in an HDMI cable, whether that's from a mirrorless camera or other video source. And this can be the one piece of hardware you use to get your video and audio into your computer to either live stream or record. And the best part, it works seamlessly with Riverside. In the box, you get the Rode Streamer X hardware, which is super compact, love that part of it. And there's even a mount on the back if you wanna screw this into something that clamps to your desk or other tripod mount. You also get the power cable, USB-C cable, and you're pretty much ready to go. On the front, you have volume knobs for your microphone gain and your headphone volume. And then you can mute your microphone or disable your video feed with a single tap using these buttons. And you can even program some sounds on this pad and those will go into the stream or recording as well. As far as connections on the back, you have the XLR microphone you could plug in right here, phantom power button, that's what this is right here. You plug in your wired headphones in the back, or if you have headphones with a microphone attached, you can use that here as well. And I love that it has both HDMI in and through. This way you can plug in your mirrorless camera HDMI out into the in port on the Rode Streamer X, and then go back out to a monitor so you can see yourself, or even a video switcher, which is how I'm gonna be setting it up in a moment. You can use the USB one cable to connect to your computer, and there's even a second USB connection where you can have a different set of input and output settings. And this is where you plug in the USB-C power. To get this set up, I'm gonna plug in the power first. XLR for the microphone goes here. This is a quarter inch wired headphone connection, so you might need a quarter to eighth inch adapter if that's what your headphones have. I have one of those right here. I'm gonna use the through HDMI output. That's gonna go to a monitor so I can see myself. And then I'm gonna plug in my camera here. I'm gonna connect it to my computer using the USB one port and then plug in my camera right here. To configure the Streamer X, you're gonna to need to download the Rode Central software. We'll put a link down in the video description for that. And here you really have granular controls over the audio and video. Here in the audio setup, you can select whether to pull audio from the microphone, a headset with a microphone, or even a wireless source. We're using an XLR microphone, so I'm gonna leave it here. And both of these sliders will decide how much volume to send to the stream or to my computer, and how much of that volume will be heard in the headphones. You can click the settings gear at the bottom to adjust the level of the microphone. The Shure SM7B needs a lot of gain, so I'm gonna put this way up, and I can see I'm getting signal on the Streamer X. Then you can choose if you want the sound effects volume to be up or down, if you want volume from the camera, which I only want volume from my microphone and maybe my computer if I'm gaming, so I'm gonna turn that down. And this setting is very important. For the USB one setting, you can choose to either link the volume or unlink, and we're gonna use the Streamer X as both our audio input and output. So if we're using this with Riverside, we wanna hear our remote guests. So I'm gonna turn the USB audio up in the headphones, but leave it down here in the live stream. If you were to turn this up, your remote guests in Riverside will hear an echo. So we wanna keep that down, but turn the USB up in the headphones. And again, it has to be unlinked here in order to do that. And here's the second USB source you can use as an additional input output device. Maybe if you had a video game system hooked up, you could raise the volume both on that so you could hear it in your headphones and it would be in the live stream. But I more often record podcast and video content, so I'm gonna leave that volume down. Going back, you can go into the device configuration, which basically just gives you brightness over the buttons. But that's all you have to do to set up the Streamer X. Now let's go over to Riverside to show you how to use it for recording. Let's jump into the studio. If I go to my camera input, you'll see the Streamer X is here as an option. And now it's pulling the video feed from my mirrorless camera that's going out HDMI into the Streamer X, so I have high quality video. I'm also gonna choose the Streamer X main as my microphone input and my speaker output. Make sure you have a pair of those wired headphones plugged into the Streamer X. This way, this can be your all-in-one device, video and audio. Select I'm using headphones, and now let's join the studio. Now you can see my video feed is here in Riverside. The microphone is getting signal here on the right-hand side, and I would hear my remote guests with headphones through the Streamer X. One device for both audio and video here in Riverside. Super convenient. Now one quirk with the Rode Streamer X, it is supposedly capable of 4K video up to 60 frames per second. Right now we were recording in 1080p high definition resolution, but if I go to my studio settings here in Riverside, if you're on one of our upgraded plans, you can go to up to 4K video here in the studio settings. But for some reason the Rode Streamer X seems to not support 4K at this frame rate. It's the same studio frame rate as the 1080p version here in Riverside. So I've reached out to Rode and see if they could fix this in a future software update. So you won't be able to use the 4K mode right now. But if you see that message, just go back to 1080p here in your studio settings and you'll see your video reappear here in the studio. 
The Rode Streamer X is $400. You can get it directly from Rode or on Amazon. I'll put links down in the video description. But as an all-in-one device, both as a video capture card and an audio interface that's powerful enough to run microphones like the Shure SM7B, this is an amazing value. Plus, it's super compact, will take up just a small amount of space on your desk, and it can be your all-in-one device for recording in Riverside. Plus, we actually have some new live stream features coming very soon. So if you want to hear about that, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I'll answer those there. And if you'd like us to review other gear that you're interested in, drop that in the comments as well. We have an entire playlist talking about gear. I recently did the Rodecaster Duo, the Rodecaster Pro 2. And if you're looking for a new USB mic, I recently reviewed the new Shure MV7 Plus, which is one of the best USB mics out there. You can watch that review right up here. And if you want to learn more about upgrading your setup, maybe new video gear, upgrading your audio, and maybe just your studio space with sound treatment, I have a video right here on how to get pro audio and video at home. Plus, if you want to learn more about using Riverside, I'll put a playlist down in the description where I walk you through the entire platform, how to create talking head content, podcasts, webinars, and yes, live stream with Riverside as well. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.